What is up, guys? Um, I'm recording a quick, to the point, AP Shaco guide. This is how to build and play AP Shaco in Season 14. Um, I know long overdue for this video. The reason why I had not made an AP Shaco guide yet is because I genuinely didn't think that there was a build um, that was good enough to, to be worth playing AP Shaco at all. But that is not the case anymore. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably, some of you have seen my um, my Shojin Leandries, you know, clickbait, fun build that I've been posting videos for. Uh, because that's what I, I honestly kind of thought it was like clickbaity too. I thought it was for fun. I didn't really, I didn't really look into what it was, like what it was doing, how, how the items were synergizing, um, if that makes sense. But... I've been spamming it lately, and I can confidently say I've, been, I've even been playing it on my challenger, like my main account. Ignore the red, but it's yeah. I can confidently say that this build is the strongest and most efficient way to be building AP Shaco in season fourteen, and I recommend doing it. Um, I'm probably going to be playing this honestly more than AD. Not a lot, but like I'm probably going to lean towards this build. Um, over AD Shaco in my games moving forward because that's how smooth it feels to build. Um, top of the practice tool here. For runes, uh, I recommend Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot. I recommend this page. Secondary runes are preference. Um, you can take Transcendence with Gathering Storm. You can take Nimbus Cloak. I like Water Walking. It allows you to play... Uh, a little bit more like aggressive in the early game and it just allows you to get a little bit more mobility because remember you're you're building a spear of shojin first where are my item sets here we go like when you're building this you're essentially you're you're playing ad shako for 10 minutes that's the point of this build is that you get to you get ad shako's early game relatively speaking and then the item that you the ad item that you built synergizes with all the AP items anyways, so you don't lose out anything for doing that. Um, it, it's really nice because, I mean, some of you guys, I'm sure you guys remember when I used to get like an Umbral Glaive into AP Shaco because I wanted to have Lethality, or like I want to play AD Shaco early. This lets you do that, and it synergizes with, with AP items in a way that's better than anything we've seen yet. Um, so your core is, it, this is going to be your core right here. You're going to go, uh, Ionian Boots into Spear of Shojin. You can go Sorks if you would rather. Uh, I recommend Ionian Boots. They're just cheaper. And uh, Ability Haste is damage on, on AP Shaco. Remember that. More E's, more boxes. Ability Haste is equal to damage, uh, relatively speaking. And yeah, it's just nice being 200 gold cheaper. So the point of this build is the focused will passive that is on this uh, item here, right? Like I, I get to build towards an AD item where I'm getting the smooth build path. I can buy long swords. I can buy ability haste. Like obviously I get a pickaxe on a base. Like it, it's just an easy smooth build path where I, I get solid stats that AP or AD Shaco needs. I get ability haste uh, and I get more ability haste from this dragon force. All of these things are just beneficial to AP Shaco as well. But the big, most important part of it is the fact that my boxes stack focus will. So one box is going to fully stack focus will in fights, and it's amping my damage from the enemies. So when I say that the items synergize, they are literally dealing more damage, right? I haven't even checked this actually now that I think about it. Let me see. I haven't done the math on this yet. So, okay, so one box to 1200 damage. Let's, let me see. If I were to get how much? A 3100 gold item for an AP item that's 3100. Let's say I would rush. I really rush looting. Uh, let's even up the score. How about Cosmic Drive? That makes sense. Let's see, let's see the difference. Let's see if there's a big difference. Because this should deal more damage, right? Because it's just strictly a full box. Okay, so it only does... Yeah, it only does 100 more damage? 
And keep in mind, guys, like, this is literally, like, that's the only way I deal damage. Whereas having Shojin gives me, allows me to play AD Shaco. Because, so I get the bonus, I get to auto attack them for 356 every time, you know? Like, this build is just, just better. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what the optimal item is after, like, in this situation. I think Riftmaker has, has, uh, a strong argument to be really strong in some games, especially when they're tankier, when fights are more drawn out. It's nice that it has haste on it. And um, the each second in combat with enemy champions deal 2% bonus damage. This also is going to synergize uh, with your uh, with your other two items. So like when I'm getting a box proc off in, uh, on enemy champs, it's stacking my Shojin while, it's, while Riftmaker is stacked too. So these long drawn out fights, you're getting, all three of my items are working together. Does that make sense? Like, that is what makes this build path good. And that you're mitigating the weakness of AP Shaco's early game by kind of getting to play AD. So yeah, uh, Riftmaker third is, is, is a good option. If they're not super tanky, there's other options too. Um, Morel and Omicon's really cheap. I like, one of the items I was thinking about a lot too is Imperial Mandate. Because the one weakness, that I feel like in some of these games, like mid to late game, is that I I, I go oom um a lot if I don't have blue buff. Um, Imperial Mandate's really cheap, and it's just, like, good. It's just, like, solid stats. All the stats are really good. You get mana regen. Um, Malignance is also, obviously, very good. Uh, the ultimate spell getting haste is, is really nice later on, because you can just spam send your clone out. Uh, as well as Crypto Bloom is one of the best items in the game. This this item is inherently good. When in doubt, just get Crypto Bloom third if you don't know what else to do. Um yeah, it's like, I, I, they put haste, magic pen, ability power, and then you just get a redemption when you kill people in fights. And you're pretty much, all, you're not going to be like 1v1-ing people much in late game. Like, you want to be grouping as AP Shaco anyway, so it's, it's perfect for the kind of champ that you become later on in the game. Um, you also, yeah, you apply Morello's well, as well, since your AoE damage. All good options. Obviously, it's situational. When now, though, I, I like Riftmaker. I think Riftmaker has a strong argument to be made. I think Cosmic Drive's good as well. Sorry, I know I'm kind of all over the place. I just wanted to make this video to explain that my previous videos with this build is not just clickbait bullshit. I thought, I kind of thought that's what it was, but I'm standing behind it. Like, this is the best way to build AP Shaco, in my opinion right now, and I will absolutely be, like, playing this on my main account, like, in Challenger. I will be, I'm probably going to lean this, like, to this build over AD Shaco right now, because it, it, that's how strong it feels in my mind. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Also, in terms of playstyle, I know I didn't really talk about runes as much as I could have. In terms of playstyle, I don't want you guys to think that you're playing AD Shaco early. I know I said that kind of, but I don't want you to think of it like that, because someone in my chat yesterday was, like, talking about how I should take Hail of Blades and, like, how I should be focusing on the fact that I'm AD Shaco for 12 minutes. And it's like, no, that's not the point of this build. You're playing AP Shaco. Think of this as AP Shaco. AP Shaco scales really well. And I know for a fact, especially against engaged champs, like if I get to a late game AP Shaco, I'm going to win that game 80% of the time. That's just the, it's the truth. When I lose games on AP Shaco, it's because I just get destroyed early, right? Like I've, it, it scales really well. It does great in objective fights. It's like, it's real. it just feels, yeah, the hard part of AP Shaco sometimes is just getting to your items. That it, Shojin allows you to get to your items smoothly with a nice first item to build. You just get to deal, you get to kind of play AD Shaco early game without losing a ton, without having to just AFK farm. Like, you can kind of skirmish. But I don't want you to expect to be as strong as a standard AD Shaco. We're just mitigating the, the loss here. You can still farm out. You're just stronger in the early game than you would have been if you were building straight AP. Because that's kind of how, how the game goes. You, AD Shaco does well in the early environment because you have to actively be queuing in and auto-attacking to deal damage. You can't just set up around the objective yet because everyone's in their lanes, right? So yeah, I really just wanted to make a quick little guide slash uh, video to explain that you guys should also build this. It's not just um, a for fun content build. There's real logic behind it and i've been i've been spamming it in my game so i absolutely recommend it uh for runes dark harvest i recommend dark harvest i've been playing with some other stuff as well um testing nimbus cloak nimbus cloak is good like 
I would stick to this domination tree. If you would rather have Relentless Hunter, go for it. That's fine. I don't necessarily need Ultimate Hunter. It just feels really good to play. Once you get to that late game AP Shaco, your ult cooldown is really low. Um, but yeah, if, I've been pretty much sticking to it. I take water walking. I've been testing. I've been playing a little bit with. I don't think there's a wrong answer. I think domination and sorcery secondary is probably best. You can take inspiration secondary. I don't love inspiration secondary simply because. Um, when do I take inspiration? Simply because you don't have the stopwatch option anymore, and I don't really feel like magical footwear. Like I'd rather be able to rush Ionian boots early. I don't want to feel like I have to wait ten minutes for Ionian boots on a on AP Shaco. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. Though I, I I really just wanted to like share with you guys that this is what I'm doing. This is how you should build AP Shaco, and uh, I want to make sure you guys knew this wasn't clickbait. Um, just kidding. My whole channel is clickbait. True. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the video, please drop a like. It does help me out. I'm trying to do better about YouTube. I know that I'm lazy. I know that I'm not always consistent. I'm trying to do a good job on YouTube. So if you would drop a like, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it. Um, if you didn't enjoy the video, then please drop a like. I don't care. Facts don't care about your feelings. Get over it. And, uh, and have a good day. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Peace, guys.